Hello, welcome to the Tartan Topiary. I'm Mary, and on this channel, I always feature a book on the topic of interior design or gardening. And I often share ways that this book has inspired me or just general musings of life. Come sit and relax while we look at Charlotte Moss Entertains, written by Charlotte Moss. Charlotte Moss is a designer, author, and philanthropist. She has designed numerous private residences within the United States. She also has her own line of carpets, furniture, fabrics, china, jewelry, and clothing. In addition to this, Moss lectures internationally on the art of living and is consistently featured in the top lifestyle and design publications. In this book, Moss celebrates gracious hospitality from assembling striking place settings and arranging the table to hosting a dinner party or simply serving an elegant afternoon tea. She inspires readers to indulge everyday life with elegance and romance. Moss focuses on events as small as breakfast in bed or tea in the afternoon or as elaborate as a festive Christmas luncheon or large dinner party. Celebrating the day-to-day -day activities by bringing enthusiasm and style into every part of life is a luxury that can be achieved by anyone willing to embrace it. Fine China silver, and antique linens, often collected over the generations, can be seen as artifacts of our own lives, representing the past and the present, while creating the backdrop for a life well lived. Setting the table often becomes a joy when putting together stylish combinations of placemats, monogrammed linens, china, tableware, and flowers. This can also be overwhelming. Charlotte Moss suggests if at any time you do become overwhelmed, go with the choice of a simple blue and white. She writes, Ask any editor of a shelter magazine to name a color that continues to be a perennial favorite, one that has stood the test of time. Your answer will almost certainly be blue and white. This is a universal color language. Blue and white can be used during any season and can be gracefully mixed with browns, oranges, pinks, greens, or just about any other color of the rainbow. Mm -hmm. 
Charlotte chronicles her own aptitude for hospitality, as well as other style icons, like Audrey Hepburn's attention to florals at the table. Pauline de Rothschild, for her pioneering tabletop decor. Marjorie Merriweather Post and Bunny Mellon for their organizational precision. And Jacqueline Kennedy, who once said, if I was born to do anything, it was housekeeping. This brings me true joy. Right after Labor Day, everything seems to shift to a different gear. The flowers in the market take on different hues. The colors in your closet begin to change. And even the linens in your home shift colors to reflect those of Mother Nature. Autumn is upon us, and this new season welcomes new opportunities for the table. Charlotte Moss writes, As a designer and someone who believes that we should make every effort to make our surroundings as beautiful as possible, I find that with minimal effort, we can bring beauty to the dinner table. It does not matter what you decide to use in your setting. The key is to make the time and do it neatly and thoughtfully. The dining table is is the single piece of furniture in the house where we gather together, not just for nourishment, but for conversation and companionship, a place we gather to celebrate occasions and to continue family traditions. Throughout this book are beautiful photographs full of inspiration and thought. But in my opinion, the words of wisdom shared by Moss in the introduction is worth the purchase alone. Charlotte Moss entertains. This book is 288 pages. It is published by Rizzoli and it retails at $50. This was a beautiful book, and I found it to be very inspirational, and it's put me in a mood to do so many things. We are having some very cool, crisp mornings here, and I'll begin to take inventory of my bulb selection. I count them and check the quality, but I don't plant them until the end of November or early December. That seems to be the best time for my garden here in the coastal region of North Carolina. So, I'll wait a few more weeks before I actually put them in the ground. 
Since we only have a few more days before Halloween, I thought it would be fun to take a trip to a shop that I always visit in October. This store calls itself a curiosity shop, and it truly is. Many of the items they have for sale really fit this time of year as they embrace Halloween and the unique things that befall the season. I feel that I should preface this visit by letting you know there's nothing terribly frightening in here, but there is a lot of odd and there is a lot of unusual. I hope you have fun walking through with me. It's good to know where the phone is, in case I need to make a call. Ah, this is a nice palette cleanser.
Okay, it just occurred to me what I was looking for. The exit. Remember when you were a kid and you would go to the Carnival Fun House and the last room was always the weirdest? Yeah, pretty much the same here. Happy Halloween, everyone, and I promise I won't do this again until next year. I hope you will join me next week as we look at a book that was released in August of this year from the editors of Victoria Magazine. Traditions of Christmas. And I'll also begin to prepare for Thanksgiving. <laughs>